going, guys? It's Death Monk here. Today, we're going to be talking about some rather interesting crossovers that are going to be consumed to Fortnite uh, concerning Batman and Mary Jane. So, uh, there's a new Fortnite Batman crossover teased ahead of the new movie, which is coming out very, very soon. Of course, from the DC Comics franchise, Fortnite players will be able to suit up as Robert Pattinson's iteration of the Batman, as the Caped Crusader is planned to drop in for the new film's release. Matt Reeves' The Batman will be released on March the 4th, which is technically yesterday, following several delays. While the wait has been agonising for more Batman content, Fortnite has been providing some wicked DC content in the build-up to the hotly anticipated movie. Players have seen the likes of the Suicide Squad, Superman and more join the battle. Batman has also swooped into the battle royale before and now the Dark Knight is returning once again. So initially, players thought that last year's DC Fandom event would set up a glorious crossover for the DC Comics hero. As the film met more delays, plans for a Fortnite crossover were put on the back burner. Now, information has dropped from Batman lore expert K-Wing Reviews that reports Pattinson's version could drop into the game alongside the film's release. So heard some now this is uh, quite a few weeks old now, but uh, heard some big news. The hashtag the Batman movie skin is coming out this week or next. So the Batman fanatic. They went on to say it's possible the skin could show up for the Injustice 2 mobile, but that's up to WB. So as you guys can see, uh, we actually got a little uh, JF image of the Batman himself, uh, which actually looks pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. He then went on to say, it would make more sense for the Batman to release this uh, month due to this theatre release in four days. Now this was back on February the 28th, and this was for yesterday. So it is a little bit of a... Um, sorry about the uh, delay from like, this video, but uh, I'll get, get through as quick as I can. The convo started in regards to Injustice 2 Mobile, which I thought was for an IJ2 promo. Source corrected me and said, no, this is for Fortnite. And that was the only info we had at that time. Um, so, this information was allegedly given to K-Wing reviews from a source that predicted Deathstroke's implementation too. who are out in the game in June 2021. Hopefully the bundle will contain other DC alum like Catwoman or the Riddler too. Now, I'm going to have to check the item shop here, guys, and I didn't really take much notice of it. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Batman might still be in there now. So make sure you guys use my support credit code in the item shop, deathmonk 992 which I'll annotate that towards the end of this video. Uh, another thing to back this up is, as of five hours ago, uh, Sheena BR, credited Fortnite leaker, there's currently still one encrypted PAK, PAK file that most likely contains a cosmetic that we know nothing about. There's also still an unused set that we don't know who it belongs to. Setting the encrypted file could be part of Mary Jane's set, but we don't know for sure. Um, and the action fit CD, who is again another credible Fortnite leaker, said, what if it's the Batman? Now, as the we could potentially see another Batman skin, but we'll have to wait and see. I think lots of people are expecting more Spider-Man skins. Uh, and to back that up, G-Matrix Games, who is an, again another credited Fortnite leaker, has actually found something in the in the um, in-game coding. Codename, hashtag, codename, lurk, outfit, back bling, and locker icon. As you guys can see, that's the coding that you would expect to see in the in-game files. And as you guys can see, it is actually Mary Jane herself. So as you guys can see, I think this is what we can expect to see soon within the item shop. We don't have a set date at this present moment in time to look on this video. Uh, as you guys can see, we've got a her skin and, of course, her guitar, back bling. Um... So that's all the information we have. We don't uh, know of any glider or um, any pickaxes, but um, if anything do, does come out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that. Uh, he went on to say, I forgot to mention this originally, but if there is a pickaxe associated with the Lurk codename, it's most likely a dual pickaxe or one-handed and unable to be previewed with a lobby bot, as I've tried multiple different naming schemes and none give me a working result. So... That's the information we have concerning Mary Jane. Uh, for those who don't know also, um, sorry about this guys, we're currently watching the FNCS live stream on <laughs> in-game at the moment. Um, another thing we've got to be talking about is the scientist audio logs. Now we've got all, we've got all seven of these, so I want to give a big massive shout to FN Assist, who actually managed to get all this um, into one video. So I want you to take a listen to these audio logs. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments box down below. And we can expect to see something 
uh, related to this in chapter three, season two. So I've got, let you guys listen to this and let me know what you guys think of it. Let's do it. Paradigm, uh, it's me. I'm, I'm guessing you heard what happened. Obviously, we had more ambitious goals than simply flipping the island. That was just one step in a scrupulously planned attack that would have reduced the imagined order to uh, smoking crater, to put it mildly. But the reality left us exposed and overextended. If, if they manage a counterattack before we recover, it's over. All of it. Look, I know our history is complicated, but I want you to know I never lost faith in you. Okay, I did. But only for five minutes, maybe. Maybe a few weeks tops. Uh, it's hard to believe that someone who went through what you went through would hold the line. But I, I know you did. So we really do not deserve your help right now. Not at all. But we need it. This is the scientist broadcasting on the 7 Secure Channel. At 0400 hours, we received a ping from the Paradigm. Still need to confirm authenticity and verify that we're not being hacked, spoofed, tricked, or otherwise deceived. But I believe it's the real deal. I know that among our ranks, there are still some mixed feelings about the Paradigm. But for the sake of survival, we need to think of her as an ally. We are the Seven. We have a duty to rise above grudges and petty disagreements for the greater good. And yes, Foundation, I'm looking at you. I can see your face through that mask. Regardless of the past, there is no future without her. Hey, uh, Paradigm, uh, it will not surprise you to learn that you remain public enemy number one for the seven. I I'm trying to convince them to welcome you back with open arms, but I can't promise that it will be a cakewalk if you come back. I'll do what I can, and this time, I'll have your back no matter what, like I should have the first time. Hey, Paradigm, so, um, so far I've refrained from laying a guilt trip on you like my mom used to do, which you should appreciate, or should have appreciated, because those days are over. We have reports of seismological disturbances from the underside of the island. That leads me to believe that the imagined order are not only active, they're gathering forces. The imagined order is playing with a fire that will consume every world we know and every world we've yet to discover. So hurry home while we still have one. This is the scientist broadcasting on the 7 Secure channel. How's everybody doing out there? Paradigm has accessed her navigational accounts and appears to be preparing for a long journey. It is impossible to know her intentions, but I strongly suggest we prioritize all Paradigm-related engineering. <laughs> Greetings, unauthorized trespasser. It's come to my attention that you are intercepting sensitive communications meant only for the Seven and our allies, a crime which you will now pay for with your life. I'm kidding. It's actually good for you and the loopers to understand the gravity of the situation. We stand on the brink of annihilation, to put it lightly. Not today, and maybe not tomorrow, but soon we will be at war with the imagined order. The Seven will lead the way, and it is my sincere hope that you will follow us into battle when that day comes. But today is not that day. Today, we have peace. I suggest you enjoy it while you can. Learn everything you can about the island. Gather your allies and stand Ready. Paradigm, it's me again. Uh, this is my final message. Everything, and I mean everything, depends on you now. You've always been so much more than just our pilot. In our darkest days, you brought us hope. You brought us together. And after everything you've been through, I wish we didn't need you to suit up again. But we do, we really do. All reality is yours to save. You know, that's it. Just all reality. You just need to come home. So I want to know your thoughts on that, guys. Please do let me know in the comments box down below. Um, so, obviously got really exciting things coming forward for the live event. Uh, for the um, next next uh, season, I beg your pardon. Uh, there's no live event in the in-game files that we know of. But, um, obviously, we can expect to see maybe some sort of cutscene pro uh, promoting season 2. 
uh, which is obviously the war between the Seven and the Imagined Orders. So we'll have to wait and see what's going on going down with that very, very soon. Now, don't forget, guys, the end of the season, I believe, not mistaken, is uh, the second or third week in March. So it's going to be a really exciting time to look forward to. Make sure you guys get those that date saved in the calendar. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was March the 7th, was it 17th? Or something like that? I'll have to double check that. Uh, if, if I'm wrong, I'll have to hit on screen. Uh, but that's the information we have so far concerning that. I uh, just want to quickly wrap things up with another new collaboration. That's uh, not currently in-game at this present moment in time, but will be very, very soon. Fortnite looks like to be collaborating with another gaming uh, franchise called the Assassin's Creed. And SEO, who is a character from that game, looks like to be getting some skin and, and some cosmetics. Now, Assassin's Creed collaborations come into Fortnite in the form of purchasable cosmetic items. And Fortnite is, of course, no stranger to collaborations with other popular gaming franchises, including Master Chief, Kratos, and more have made their way to the world's most popular battle royale. Now, the Assassin's Creed collab adds Ezio, one of the game's main protagonists, to the Gaming Legends cosmetic series. Ezio will be purchasable in any item shop, and he will have a hooded and unhooded style. He also comes with a built-in emote where he draws his hidden blades, and those blades can also be used as a harvesting tool to collect materials or damage players. So, if you look on screen right now, you're going to see some um, images of Ezio, of course, from Assassin's Creed, in in uh, his forms, as you guys can see on screen. Um, so expect to see him in the item shop very, very soon. Again, using my support creator code, deathmonk992. Um, just, and at least date, we don't currently know when the Assassin's Creed skins will be released. However, since they were decrypted, it's safe to assume they'll be in the item shop within the next few days. So want to know what your thoughts are, please do let me know in the comments box down below. Hope you guys found this video rather interesting. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so I can see more videos. And don't forget to use my support code code once again in the item shop, defmonk992. As it is on screen in the description. Does this be after every two weeks? I'm going to get deeper in that back in. Until the next episode.